That would be okay. Cool. I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw a Hill Mary here. Bronson, what do you think about Pokemon? Oh hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Hell what do you think yeah. about Pokemon Snap? Oh hell yeah. What do you think about Pokemon Snap 2 getting a release in April? That is a lot sooner than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like way further off. I but... figured twenty twenty two. I'm excited for it. Like the first game was, uh, it was a pretty big part of my childhood. So I think just even purely out of nostalgia, like whether the game's good or not, I'm probably gonna have a good time with it either way. Yep. Same. I did not have a Nintendo 64 as a child. I was a PlayStation child, so I can say nothing about Pokemon Snap. I've never played it. I think you're in for a joyride. I don't know if I'm going to get it. I'm more into the mainline RPG. Pokemon, so I don't. Plus, plus it's sixty fucking dollars. Like, come on. Have they actually? No, no it's a Nintendo. Of course, it's going to be. It's fucking a Nintendo first party game. Dollars. Dollars. <laughs> I, I, I don't, don't know if care. I, I don't know if I can pay sixty f- for that. I don't. So, so are you going to pay sixty for it, Bronson? Fuck yeah. I, I'm with Bronson on this one. I regret I literally so, nothing. <laughs> Uh, how about that? How about Twitter won't shut up about an apparent Diamond and Pearl remake? I think Twitter the Pokemon fan the base is it. so fucking toxic. Like, I don't, I don't even want to. I don't even remember like all the key details of it. But do, were you guys around when all the Pokemon Sword and Shield shit was going yes. on? Like, people complaining about like the lack of older Pokemon or the graphics. I'm just like, how there was the how there was that out. one tree that looked really bad, and I was like, can you shut the fuck up? I, like, I think if you're looking for graphical fidelity, Pokemon's probably the wrong place yeah. to go for. And it's like, um, so for those who don't know, uh, uh, an apparent Pokemon leaker who's been right in the past went on Twitter recently and flat out confirmed that a Diamond and Pearl remake is happening. He, he didn't say if it's in the style of, of Pokemon um, Let's Go or if it's like a flat out like 3D remake of it. In like in like a sword and shield style, but apparently this guy's been right in the past. He flat out said it it, it is happening, and it's happening this year. And Twitter blew up because I guess people have been wanting this forever. Diamond and Pearl are my favorite gen. I grew up on Diamond. I had over like five hundred hours in it. Like it's it is one of my favorite games of all time. But it's like the fact that, and I'm not being rude to Pokemon fans. That's not why I'm here. I am a Pokemon fan also, but they fucking just lost it. Like, people are going on what one dude said, who's been, like, right in the past, like, once or twice, and they're and they're like, I, oh my god, oh my god, it's like... I think, um... I think the remake was a, was was just eventual. They'd done a remake for one, for two, for three. Three's the best generation. Um, well, like let's let's go was also a very good Pokemon game, and people seem. Mm-hmm. I think it was a great on jumping that. on point for people that, um, like uh, even for people that were familiar with the franchise. I think it was a nice little welcome addition. Yeah, and, and it was a remake of overlook. Pokemon Yellow. Like, come on, like it's. It was it, it it was very good, and if God forbid this Diamond and Pearl remake thing ends up being true, I kind of hope it's in the Let's Go style, because that would be a lot of fun instead of just them like being forced to just remake the entirety of Diamond and Pearl in like Sword S- Sword and Shield style, yeah. when Sword and Shield is the best Pokemon game that they've done in recent memory. <laughs> okay, I might Hot Pokemon. Take. Okay, like up until like generation three, I knew like every single Pokemon, what their types were and everything. Oh, so I'm gonna create oh, a little nothing. mental. T- t- I- I'm gonna make like a little mental tier list of generations. Actually, you know what, Br- Bronson, go ahead and give your thoughts on Pokemon while you look up the timeline because I I don't remember the fucking titles like past. Okay, perfect. Five. Yep, you you give me an open mic about Pokemon. Lovely. One, there's too many of them. <laughs> None of this matters. There's like there's eighty bajillion many. of them. It's okay to get rid of some. It's totally fine. Number two, it was really cool to put uh, sunglasses on my Eevee and have him <laughs> just explode stuff and be like, let's go. Yeah, That's perfectly fine. Love it. Love it. It's, ex- it's excellent. I have I had a ton of fun with with Shield. There's oh, no wait. issues there. Like, I have fun with those games and I don't engage with the fan base anymore. I play games with my friends who like Pokemon and that's about it. Anyone else... Ah. I- <laughs> There's because I, I have. Oh, nice! That looks cool. I uh, for for 
audio listeners, Sarah's holding up a Pikachu, uh, sorry, yeah, Pikachu uh, Switch uh, dock this, and console. This was the Let's Go EV Pikachu Switch that they nice. gave out with. I like Let's Go. Let's Go is a very fun game. Allow me to use that stupid Pokeball controller more, please. I think um, I paid building off because what... it came with the stupid switch. <laughs> <laughs> I think building off of what Bronson had said, like when I play Pokemon, I mainly play it solo. Like I might have like a personal uh, close friend or two, like I'll trade stuff with or battle, but I don't take it very seriously. Yeah, I don't. Um, I, I had a coworker at one of my older jobs where he's just like super obsessive. He's always talking about like catching shinies like every day. I'm just like, dude, I just don't fucking give a shit. Mm-hmm. I just want to play the game. I want to get the badges. I don't even necessarily care about like completing the Pokedex. Like I'll try to like do what I can, but I'm not going to walk around for a 0.001% chance of getting a shiny fucking bag on or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Yeah. The um, most, the most I'll do is I will do the end game stuff, which I think sword and shield has great end game content, which is like catching the rare Those dudes have so weird hair. <laughs> yeah. Especially cause they're adding fucking DLC to it, which I think is a very smart idea. Cause I fucking bought that season pass. Of course I goddamn did. And I think that's what I think it, it, the whole catching everything and the whole shiny hunting and the people who tape who like tape rubber bands onto their switch for them to like run in circles to hatch shit. I just think that's too much. I think you guys need to, I don't know, go outside. <laughs> go outside. No, it's just, it's, I mean, it's, I have friends who do it and it's great and I'm here for it, but I'm just like, you might even need to put a rubber band on your switch. Let's see. Well, I've got, went ahead and put together a little list of my generations from top to bottom. And I haven't played uh, some of the later ones in quite some time. And I never beat Sun and Moon. So take that for as you will. You never beat Sun and Moon? Sun and Moon was crazy. Dude, my, my coworker was so fucking annoying about it. Like, it killed my drive to play. It's like... Imagine what, what's your favorite uh, band? Uh, d- d- tool. <laughs> okay, n- imagine you have a coworker who really likes Tool, and that's the only yeah. thing they talk to you about that for forty kind of hours a week. Tool, tool fans are pretentious white dudes, so yeah, that that can get that get kind of annoying. Yeah, it's basically that, like just by. Just, just, but just by that, it's like yeah, my love for Pokemon. I mean, I definitely <laughs> think that if you do end up getting. Like, if you do end up getting, I mean, I yeah, still, I would honestly I say try to go back when if, if if you ever get the like feeling to. Sun and Moon was very underrated to me. Sun and Moon was a lot of fun, and it had great like different for like gyms, like 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 they weren't exactly gyms; they were like island challenges. And I just found it a lot mm-hmm. of fun. I did like that part. Uh, let's see. So, so for my ranking, I, I would put three at top because I think it's probably the most balanced. Like, yeah, there's too much water, whatever, but I really like all the Pokemon you can get in there. Uh, five, which is black and white. I would maybe even put above three spe- oh, for one very specific one. reason. <laughs> is it? No, it's the good one because you can't get any of the older Pokemon until the end game. So I like the aspect of you going through it. Like everything's fresh. There's no fucking Zubats. You don't know it's fucking flying poison. You have to figure all this shit out as you go. Black, and, black and white um, had like. Just for someone who played like, like all four generations. Legendaries. They were so boring. I was. It was, it was so about boring. the journey. It was so dumb. And then they fucking released black Let's, too and white too. And it's like, I'm sorry. I, I never I. played those ones. Um, so let's see. After after five, it'd be eight, which is um, which is Sword and Shield. There's a lot of quality of life improvements. Just a solid game. Then two, then one, four. It would be after that. I one one very specific reason that the original versions of Diamond and Pearl had extremely slow tech speed. So it, it was just like artificially long because of that. You couldn't skip past it. Uh, six, I don't... That, what, that's, that's X and Y. It was okay. It was kind of by the numbers, kind of more relying on nostalgia than anything. And then seven, I never finished. So I can't really give it uh, a proper For me, spot. it's just Diamond diamond and Pearl. Like one, 100%. Like those are the ones I have the most memory of. 
And like I can pretty much remember my original team pretty much close to close to perfectly. Um, and I just it, it, I, I don't remember all of them because I know I've played all of them. It's just been forever. But Sword and Shield are are honestly after Diamond and Pearl, not just because of the new Pokemon that it brought up, but the fact that it was such like a different like region. Like, yeah, it was meant to be great. It was, like, meant to be Europe, but, like, it, it just was so bright and so colorful and just so much fun. And, like, all of the gym leaders were just fun people. And the champion, I feel bad, I can't remember his name, but he just was a fucking blast. Like, everybody was just new and different. And I like when Pokemon does does that. Just, like, throws you to the wolves. Bad, bad joke, because the legendaries are dogs. <laughs> I hate you for that. But it, it, it's like, I, I like when Pokemon... Plus, it had more customization options. Like, I totally forgot that. Like, it had the best customization options in, like, any Pokemon game. Which I want more of. Also, there, 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 there are karate bears. There are karate bears. <laughs> uh, what about you, Bronson? Any particular taste one way or the other in terms of like the no, mainline honestly, games? honestly, just like, oh, that came out. I'm going to play it. Like the Pokemon game, I know I want it. I, yeah. I know I'm going to have I know I'm going to have a good time playing it, which is the the key for for me. Yeah, I feel I feel like Pokemon is one of the only right. series where whenever a new like mainline Pokemon game is announced, I instantly care. Mm. Like I'm just like, oh, it's Pokemon. It's it's RPG I, I, Pokemon. I like Pokemon games because they're they're like not like shooty, gory graphic shit. It's cute and it's adorable. It's Pokemon. I think it's also just mm-hmm. you know what you're getting into. There's there's a certain bar of quality. It's at least going to meet. It's I I don't want to say comfort food because I feel like that's almost mm-hmm. like a slight against it. But it's it's a nice welcoming experience that I've literally had since I was a kid. So I deeply appreciate it on that front. 